10 sales in 10 minutes. Hi guys, it's Adam, so welcome to another video and in this one we've got 10 sales in 10 minutes and be sure to stick around till near the end because I've got a couple of really nice sales at the end so yeah, without further ado, we'll get into it. So first off was something I sold on Amazon, I'll just scooch to the side of it so I can fit the screenshot in. Um, and this was a Marlene Dietrich, um, like sort of DVD box set, new and sealed. Um, I can't pronounce her name, so if I've got it wrong, I apologise. Um, and I sold it for £27.19, pence, probably because I repriced it at some point and matched with like the lowest prime. Because I wouldn't normally price that randomly. Um, and I bought it for four ninety nine in a charity shop. So yeah, really happy with that one. Uh, next was a cu cooking mama or cooking mama or however you pronounce it. Um, and I got £6.50 for that. Just a standard Nintendo DS game. Um, but it only cost me 40p in a job lot. And I thought, you know what, send that up and get a bit of money back for it. And I wouldn't have got that on eBay. So yeah. Um, quite happy with that one. I just thought I'd show that sale because it sort of just shows a little bit of a bread and butter item um, and just some of the more sort of stuff that sort of just goes towards the, the big pot of sales, you know, a bit of a big sales total. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Uh, next, I got a Lego countdown set. It was like a countdown calendar thing we were doing last Christmas. Um, and I actually got that for free. Um, in my loyalty cards video, I mentioned about uh, getting free gifts with Lego when you spend over 50 quid, and that was one of the free gifts. So I got that for free, and I turned it into £14.60, so can't complain there, really. Next, I sold a black Nintendo Wii for £34.99. Um, this one, I believe it came in a big untested job lot of Wii's that I got and it would have cost me between about five and seven pound um, but I generally pay no more than ten pound for a Wii unit anyway so uh, wouldn't have cost me no, more than a tenner if it did come in a different job lot um, but I'm thinking the job lot it was in uh, it cost me five to seven pound but I buy so many Wii's and consoles and stuff it's hard to keep track um, so that's why I have sort of set prices for things that I'll pay, so that then I know that there's there's always going to be profit in it for me. Uh, next was a Resident Evil game for the PS2. Again, just sort of bread and butter one. I paid 40p from uh, basically just a guy who gives me uh, who gives me PS2 games, DS games, PSP, PS3 games, all that sort of stuff, and he just has standard prices. So. Yeah, paid 40p for that and I got £14, so can't complain there, you know, nice little bread and butter item. So there are all the Amazon sales. I thought today that I'd break it up into Amazon and then eBay. So that's what I've done. I've sort of done all the Amazon sales first, five Amazon sales, and then five eBay sales. So without further ado, we shall get on with the eBay sales. And there are, as I say, a couple of nice ones to... Uh, Sort of keep your eyes peeled for a couple of bolos really so yeah just wait for them at the end um so first ebay item i will show you is this fur wheel friends uh cat or kitten um i actually paid 4.99 in a charity shop ages ago there was two of them in there i wish i had grabbed both of them saying that it was quite a sticky item probably sat for about Hmm, about three months, something like that, three, four, maybe even five months. I think about four months is about right. And I'd say I paid four ninety nine and turned that into £35 plus shipping. I originally shot for the moon on it, I had it on for like fifty nine ninety nine or something. But there was, there was a bit of interest, but I just don't think it would have sold at that. So I reduced it, reduced it, reduced it, and then... Finally sold for £35 plus shipping, so can't complain there. Uh, something I didn't have in my storeroom for long, and that is a vintage cassette storage tray thing. Um, I think it held 45 cassettes in total. Paid £2 and... Yeah, paid £2 and I got £21 including shipping. So, 
yeah, really happy with that. I think it was 14 99 plus shipping. Uh, that did go through Hermes because they're a little bit bigger, but still, really nice on that one. So, last few. And these are quite nice ones, I think. So, one of the bigger ones I'm going to show you is this Mega Man X4, um, which I got 99.99 plus shipping for. Um, and the best thing about this is that was all paid for. I got a job lot of free Mega Man games, a PS2, and a load of PS2 games for 120 quid. I sold the other two Mega Man games for 60 quid each, so that gets me to the 120. PS2 and the, the games, the other games, paid for the job lot, and then that 100 quid there, minus my postage and fees, that is all profit. So, yeah, really, really happy with that one. Uh, can't complain there. 99 99 plus shipping. Happy days. Um, so next was a Thomas Tomy, um, it was sort of just like a, I really couldn't be bothered dealing with this and it was just a, a big a mass of buildings and I just took a photo, did a little sort of piddly title and description and just wanted to list it. I didn't like dealing with it, I don't know why, but it just wasn't something I liked dealing with um, and I just whacked that on, 14 99 plus PMP. Um, I got that in a job lot for 20 quid. There was a load of other trains with it that I've got listed for 30 quid. And there was a load of other, like, um, sort of track with it that I've also got listed, I think, about 15 quid or something. Um, so, yeah, there should be about 60, 70, maybe 80 pound out of that 20 quid I'll get. Um, but that was those anyway. So, maybe I could have got more if I did a nice little scene and all that sort of stuff. But... For whatever reason, it was one of them items I didn't like dealing with. Um, so yeah, anyway. And final item is an Orvis fishing jacket. But I got 59 99 plus temper... Uh, sorry, plus postage. I'm reading the wrong line there. 59 99 plus postage on. And that went within a week. Um, if you saw my Thursday Talks episode, you'll have seen me wearing it. I listed it that day. And it went within a week. So really, really happy with that. And I paid 10 quid for that. So can't complain there. So yeah, that is everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed this sales update. If you did, please do give it a, a, a quick thumbs up. And yeah, um, I will leave it there for today, guys. Um, any comments, questions, or feedback, please do put them down below in the comments section. And don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description as well. See you very soon, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video guys, don't forget to go down below for exclusive content all free over on my website and blog, updated every week just for you guys, so see you over there.